Yeah, she's a really prototypical target player, but her, her touch and her passing is now the other team is trying to claw back into the match. Provo trying to drop that back. She spilled it. Beetle took it past the keeper. And just like that, the Falcons on the board early. Two minutes gone. SPU leads. Ball from Travis has turned back over. Here's Jenna Kilman. Has Diaz in the middle. Gone toward her. And cleared away. Back to Eversol. Eversol from distance. Travis catches it clean. Now Nieder, Yellhouse, Beetle is onside. Her cross to the back post, and it's 2-0. Well, she didn't get a goal on Thursday, but she's got one here. McKenna Ritz bags her 11th of the year. Great service from Burks. Travis off her line, gone for the punch, falls to Lee. Can she bring it under control? It's a way back to it. Win. Shots blocked. Win a second strike off target. Nieder, pass Neal. Slikes for goal and slices. Chilzik gets the cross away. That is bouncing to the goal line, but right back to her. This one, headed by Neal, falls to Gelhaus. Gelhaus puts her foot through it. Oh, what a strike! Chloe Gelhaus, a third goal for SPU. Press high to try to. Uh... Chilzik quickly inside here, broken up and finished off. McKenna Ritz bags her second. Well, a beautifully weighted ball up the right side. Jaden Wynn, good service there to the back post, and it's gone just wide. So a regular season title, a postseason title, and an automatic bid to the NCAA Division II tournament belong to the Seattle Pacific University Falcons, who serve up a 4-0 win here at Harrington Field against their conference rival, Western Washington. And it is a big celebration for the team from Interbay show, which will air on NCAA.com Monday at 3 p.m. Pacific. But it is a three-point party for the Falcons and a big win against their fearsome rivals here at Harrington Field.